Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to rename multiple files on Yosemite. So in previous versions of OS X, it's been difficult to rename multiple files at once. There are several third-party applications that you can use, but that's a hassle and it'd be better to just use native tools. So with Yosemite, now you can easily edit and manage multiple files at once. So I'm going to open up the Finder window. And here I'm going to select a batch of files. Uh, these are photos. So I'm going to select maybe around 10 photos here. And then I'm going to right click on the mouse. And here you can see something called rename. So I'm going to tap on rename. And you'll have three different options for renaming your files. You'll have replace text, add text, and format. I'll be using format, but I'm going to show you all three. So with replace text, you can enter a keyword in find. So all of these files share IMG, so I'm going to put an IMG there, and then I'm going to replace it with something, uh, depending on what the photos are. For the sake of this video, let's pretend that this is a trip to San Diego. So I'm going to replace it with San Diego uh, 2015. So here you can see an example of what the file name will look like after you press rename. Uh, I don't like this one because it still keeps the number that's already attached to each of these files at the end of it. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is add text. Uh, this one merely allows you to add text to all of these files. So if you type in San Diego, it'll just add it to the front of the name. Uh, you can also add it after the name. Right. And finally, there's format, which is the one I prefer. Inside of format, there are three other options to renaming files. You can choose name and index, name and counter, and name and date. So name and index allows you to create your own custom name entirely and adds a sequence of numbers to the end of it. So the first one will have a 1 at the end of it, the second one will have 2, and it'll keep going. Uh, you can move where the number is. You can either put it before the name or after the name. I prefer after the name. Name and counter also adds a sequence of numbers to the end of it, but it makes it longer. So it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The next one would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 2. And finally, there's name and date. This is the longest one, but it's also the most detailed one. This one adds the year, the month, the day, and the exact time that the photo was taken. This one does not have a number sequence, so this will be blanked out. Uh, for this one, I'll be using name and index because it's short. Uh, the one's a little bit too long, even though it is more detailed. So now I'm just going to tap on rename, and we should see the files here all be renamed at once. And there you go. Now you can see they're called San Diego, and it goes 1 through 9. Uh, this is just a great way to stay organized with photos. I have a bunch of photos on here, and they all have that IMG, as you can see here. So this is just a way to keep organized. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.